Grace and peace to you. My name is Charlene Jin Lee. I am a practical theologian. I teach spiritual leadership and pastoral identity formation at the Graduate School of Theology at the University of Redlands. My teaching vocation is born out of my own profession of faith that believes that God calls all of us who follow Jesus Christ to live generously and graciously towards others the way God lives towards us. It's been my joy to think and reflect on the theology and the practice of hope as we seek to follow Christ in our daily lives. The Bible is full of searching people yearning for hope, searching for a safe place, a secure place of God's presence and provision. And along their searching, wandering, winding way, people walked through desolate landscapes where their hope collapsed, where they looked around and saw no reasons for hope. And yet we see through the biblical tradition a people who walked professing a hope in God who is close to the brokenhearted and God who saves those who are crushed in spirit. You know, in the Bible, the in the Old Testament, there are several expressions used to, to express hope. And a common expression is tikva, which is Hebrew for hope, for ones who hope for God, tikva. What's interesting is that the noun for form of tigva literally means rope, something that is taut and firm and strong, something that we can hold on to. It gives us a different imagination, a theological imagination about hope, where oftentimes we connote hope with something, a light, feathery thing perched on our souls, perhaps. The biblical understanding of hope is something that is firm and concrete, something that we can hold on to. A hope that doesn't reside within us, but a hope that resides within the faithfulness of God a hope that we cannot conjure up by our own positive, hopeful, wishful thinking, but a hope that rests surely on God whose faithfulness makes hope possible for people like us who cannot imagine hope beyond hope in the situations in which we are placed. This biblical hope, the hope that rests not on my own ability to imagine something beyond what is, my own ability to think of positive thoughts, but in God's faithfulness, a hope that comes to us as a rope to which we can reach out and hold on to. This is the biblical hope to which I'd like to invite us to think about as we think about how we practice hope in the midst of struggle, in the midst of desolate landscapes, in the midst of places where we feel there is no hope left. So join with me as we look through Jesus's life and his teachings on how we might experience and know and reach for this hope beyond hope. Hope beyond hope, this expression is kind of my own translation of Paul's letter to the Romans when he speaks about hope against hope. In the, in the original translation, hope against hope is better understood as hope beyond hope, hope that is beyond this earthly hope, hope that is beyond my own human ability and capacity for hope, a hope that transcends our circumstances, a hope that transcends our own will, a hope that transcends our own desire and faithfulness, this hope that resides not in ourselves, but in God who is faithful and near especially those who are brokenhearted and those who are crushed in spirit. <laughs>